I forgot to charge my mobile device last night. So we missed a lot this morning, but it's okay. I have a lot to do today. I have to do the laundry. I have to clean the house. I have to put away the laundry. I have to do the bed, blah, 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 all of that stuff. My parents are home to help wash the kids while I do everything instead of me being home alone all week, trying to do everything by myself. Nick went to a family party, so he's gone to who knows how long. this guy did not want to go down everybody was asking me about what i did to prepare myself for labor and deliveries so. this is so exciting because um when i was pregnant with my firstborn i'd watch all of these labor delivery videos and i was like i'm gonna do that one day i was always so shy and then i made my tiktok and it blew up and i was like okay now i have to do one first off i just want to say i'm not a professional i'm just sharing my experience i do have two boys this is my second born and my first born's outside playing he is going to be nine months and my oldest is three years and four months something like that I don't know. so what i did to prepare myself for labor and delivery there's like a lot of things i did did get most of these information from like tiktok and youtube the first one was obviously moving your body as everybody knows, you have to walk every day or whatever you want to do. But I was active before we had kids and I was pregnant. That's where I actually met my husband at 24. I do know like how to work out and stuff like that. But if you're planning on working out, please just use body weight and um, ease into it. Don't just go straight for the 20 pounds and you don't want to injure yourself or baby. Another thing was a yoga ball a big yoga ball just sit on it every day sat on it from the day i was pregnant with him i think it opens up your pelvic floor making it easier for baby to go light through <laughs> but when i work out i would go to the gym obviously please 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 stretch first and then i would do a little bit of like yoga and after that i do some lifting and then I would bounce on my yoga ball or the gym's yoga ball for like about 10 minutes. And after that, I do my mile. And if I didn't have time to do my, wa my walk for the day, we would go walking in the afternoon when my husband came home from work. Like I said, I had a yoga ball at home too and I just used that as like my primary chair, just bouncing on it, doing figure eights, cat cow, side to side, circles, all of that. Another thing that people were amazed about on my TikTok was no tearing. So I did do perineal massages. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do it, obviously. And the person that I watched to learn how to do it was Bridget Taylor. I will put her link in my description down below. It's very, very TMI. But when I did do it, I started at 28 weeks until the day I gave birth. I would do one minute a day in the shower. And slowly, as you know, you, the weeks go by, you want to go up a bit, maybe like one minute, 30 seconds or another 60 seconds, blah, 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 whatever is comfortable with you. Because if you have a ball in front of you and you're trying to get down there, it's hard. <laughs> Like I said, um, I'm not a professional. Another thing was raspberry leaf tea. Did do these very differently with my first and my second. I don't remember what I did with this guy at around like three weeks. I drink one a day every other day. And then as the weeks go by, you add 
two maybe like the first time you're adding two you do it every other day one day would be this is hard and dates the same thing you know just kind of gradually increase it i did start at 32 or 34 weeks i could not eat it like that so what i did was <laughs> i put it in my smoothie i drink a smoothie a day hide it in there and ugh and ugh i just I didn't like it, but I also did hypnobirthing. Sometimes I do it after my workouts. I put my AirPods in, blast it, and just meditate. It kind of helped me when I was in labor, I guess. I was just thinking really weak, but I know that so much moms can go unmedicated. But I am such a wussy. I was like, I need it. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna go through this without getting the epidural. But obviously, like big. If I ask for the epidural, don't give it to him, blah, blah, blah. But it's not his choice, you know. You don't know what the pain is like, and it's really up to you, you know. Whatever you want to do, whatever makes you comfortable, it's how you want your birth to go. Nobody else. It's yours. So that's what I did for preparing my labor and delivery. My firstborn, I was 39 and 6 days. And around at 9 o'clock, I started to have contractions, but I obviously didn't know what contractions actually felt like it is five minutes apart contractions lasting one minute for one hour so it like weird it was like seven minutes six minutes and i didn't know and i was like no this is not it this is not it so i was like let's just go get my safety done died down around like two o'clock and then i was getting it throughout the day but it wasn't consistent or anything it was like here and there and i'm like no oh, this is not it nick's mom came from san diego and he really loves cali burritos she brought him cali burritos and he obviously had like one two three who knows how many and that night he had a stomach ache but he went to bed early because he wasn't feeling good i did my um meditation on my yoga ball i went to bed i pulled my blanket up my water broke like in the move like it wasn't just a trickle it went all over the bed i felt so bad because my mom and my sister had to come over and clean it up nobody told me about the shakes six centimeters i was like okay give me the epidural my husband was still sick didn't push until the next day around 1 p.m the whole time until I started pushing, my husband was nauseous and he was like throwing up. And even when I was pushing, he was still throwing up. Starting to push and then it was starting to get intense. And my husband finally stuck his fingers down his throat and threw it all up. All the nurses were more worried about him than me. Daddy's always trying to steal the spotlight. <laughs> it was getting intense he came out much better like he wasn't even sick at all my husband being my husband we work out gym crush blah 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 he's like third set third set let's go i'm like shut up please <laughs> and then ace was born 234 january 14 2021 i was so vulnerable like everything was happening so fast i wasn't crying when he came out so they took him away from me and all these nurses started to rush in and we're just like, you know, me and Nick's looking at each other like, what's going on? I'm crying, yelling, give me my baby. Like nobody's telling me what happened. And the doctor was like, just push. I'm trying to get the placenta. I was like, what? Like, thankfully he did start to cry. Wiped him up, weighed him, did all of that. And then they gave him to me and I had my first baby boy. But with this one, we did have a scare, I think at like 36 weeks. We got to the hospital and um, contractions started to slow down. Okay, we're gonna have you walk around the hospital to see if the contractions come back. I was hungry, I was starving. We walked down to the gas station, which was like half a mile from the hospital. Found got some Cali burritos, obviously. And I was crying on the way back up because it was so, so intense. I was like, you're going to have to go grab the car and um, pick me up because I don't want to walk back. But I did walk back all the way back. And once I laid down back on that bed, the contraction stopped again. The day that I did go into labor, um, I went to the gym with Ace. Like what I did with Ace, 
I went to meditate on the yoga ball and sure enough my water broke this time it was like a trickle so I was like is this it did I pee myself so I went home and I waited to see if it was my water and sure enough it was my water. I called my brother-in-law my mother-in-law my sister-in-law because they had to watch ace my water stopped for a bit so of course my husband went to go grab a cali burrito again always cali burrito when I'm giving birth your dad I'm waiting to be admitted I heard a girl at nine centimeters like I want to push I want to push and then the nurse was like don't push I'm like I forgot what it was like I wasn't getting any contractions like two to three hours so they gave me pitocin they gave me more and more and sure enough the contractions came it was getting intense to the point where I was like okay you might get the epidural soon poor anesthesiologist came in and I was like Never mind, I don't need it. Five minutes later, the contractions were like super, super intense. Called him back. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And I got my epidural. A couple of hours until we started pushing. Okay, we're gonna be pushing for a while now, maybe like three minutes max this time. And the doctor was like, okay, are you ready to push? And I pushed twice. And he's like, he's almost here. I'm like, what? One more push, and this guy came out. In a minute. <laughs> hey. Good job, buddy. He's done painting. Oh, okay. Oh, no. to drink your protein. It's Taco Bell for dinner and it's not even my cheat day. Nachos, nachos, tacos, tacos. Two more quesadillas. Mexican pizza. Your dumbass power bowl. Wait! Always get you chicken and steak. No, you don't. No I always get steak because I don't like You chicken. have steak. <sighs> <laughs> Alrighty, boy, boy. You know what to do. You like to have hit the bell button somewhere around your screen. I don't know where yet, but you know what to do. Okay, get it in. Alright, everybody. Like, subscribe to our channel. And if you would don't mind, hit the bell button for notifications so you can be notified when we post our videos <laughs> like, subscribe. wild bird wild bird soft breathable stretchy but we love it we love it link is in the description use code angelica 10 bye -ya.